Hi folks, uh, I haven't done any videos like this yet. This is about a little bit, just an entry, entry, entry into world of Africa. Don't know how many of this I'm gonna do, because I don't know how the hell doesn't really serve me the best, the best, but uh, I have to video record this stuff. There is more I'm gonna video record, of course, I'm gonna, if it's gonna be all good, but uh, this is a must to record for me. It's uh, a testimony that I have to leave over there to, to people in Africa, uh, where I was brought beginning the 1995 with the Royals, British Royals, with the with the Saxe Coburg Gotha. Talking about the Prince Charles, now King Charles, talking about the Prince uh, Andrew, and of course later also Prince Harry and Prince William and so on and so forth. On God knows how many occasions. Uh, more than anything, uh, British royals have used British journalism to kidnap me, to, to hijack me to Africa uh, beginning 1995. Uh, wherever they will go, they have their journalists, sure enough, uh, their projects going. And in order, I'm going to explain this issue. Uh, but in my case, uh, Saxe Coburg Gotha, they are also known as Windsors, Windsor, Windsor uh, from London, Windsor from London. Uh, they had in their mind uh, just an old treachery, basically. This is just something that, that I learned I have more common with people from Congo uh, than what I possibly could. Uh, Imagine, as I realized that there is nothing really uh, new about this case of mine, whatever happened to me, uh, from the point of view that this is, uh, you know, a British, Germans basically, this is what they are, uh, that, that uh, unfortunately I have fallen a prey to, uh, or they're global agenda uh, issues they uh, enforce then through United States of America government basically that, that's what Central Intelligence Agency CIA United States of America which naturalized citizen I became in in 2000 uh, SIRS first thing I want to do is I want to warn you uh, people in Africa I'm going to demonstrate you some videos and I want you to keep this in mind when you go over this video, when you watch these videos, they're very good videos. But the first thing I want you to pay attention to and keep this in mind, I'm not a white boy. Uh, there is going to be a video here you're going to see. Let me demonstrate to you. Uh, I will be referring to. It's going to be, it's called Belgian Congo, this here. This is the video, and there is a man right there that keeps repeating words. White man, you know, a white man, you know, white. You know, let me demonstrate you this guy. I am ashamed to be white. I white, I'm ashamed to be white. I am ashamed of my color. I'm ashamed to be white and so on and so forth. I'm not a white boy. Don't even think uh, talking to you in Africa. This this is the guy here. This white boy. This is a white boy. Yeah. A few months ago. This is a white boy, anyways. Uh, but this is a warning to the people in Africa, to the black people. Don't even dare. Don't even think. But not only. It's only to. It's also to Americans. Don't even dare, don't even think about calling me a white boy or something like this, like a white guy, white or something like this. Don't even fucking dare about this. First issue is first. Let's clarify the issue that I stated to you. Are there to you white? If you, if you said to this, yes, you better watch out. Because my family, on one side, during the World War II, was on a train station ready to be departed 
for extermination to concentration to German concentration camp. That was on my father's side family. On my mother's side family, it was grass eating during the World War II with my mother's brother losing his life in a battle with the Germans. So with the Hitler is, with the Adolf Hitler, with the white boys, colonialist, neo-Nazi, fascist agenda for us Eastern Europeans. Refer to me as an Eastern European. Uh, even that I would want a different kind of uh, racial classification. I don't see myself relating to these people in, in absolutely any way, other than what I stated. Uh, we were destined for a final solution, is how Adolf Hitler referred to that. That's how Windsor, Sachse, Kaburg, Gotha, uh, is basically Germans which immigrated to Britain. It doesn't matter because they always interbreed with the Germans. They referred to us as they wanted us, British always were the ones they brought Adolf Hitler on the light. They built. They helped Adolf Hitler become reality. Don't think about because of my color of the skin or something like this, I'm a white boy. Asian people also have a light skin. But for that matter, they are not white boys or white girls or whatever. I'm Eastern European and I also demand from United States of America a different classification for Eastern Europeans, I demand different classification. I didn't like your job applications when I was in the US, where you demand to classify yourself as a Hispanic, white Hispanic, white, uh, other uh, Afro-American, uh, and uh, I don't know, African and so on, fuck you. This equal employment opportunity uh, is a neo-Nazi fascist organization in my eyes. I'm going to tell you, I'm not happy with you at all. Uh, you white, that's a German, that's a British, that's Scandinavian, that's Dutch. That might be a portion of the French, if that's how they feel like. Uh, but uh, all in all, these are Aryans. You're talking about the Aryans. You're talking about the Aryan people that wanted to exterminate the whole world. They felt like exterminating the whole world. And I don't go into that group. My color of the skin is like this, but I don't fall really into that group. Uh, this is a very sensitive issue for me for a lot of reasons, which even more so than what I stated to you happened to me happened to my family during the World War II, have happened to me upon immigrating to the United States of America in 1995. It's what a British royals on their escapades, on their journeys to Africa, uh, which started with extreme violence, hijacking me literally from the ship when working aboard the cruise line, uh, Bahamas registered celebrity cruise lines, uh, Meridian, specifically with the sheep, figure out that the best for me would be to marry to a, a Serbian a royal family, something like this. In 95, they started to push me some Serbian ladies on the picture uh, of bringing me in a war zone of Croatia and Bosnia where it was this mass genocide. He murdered people on, not on a dozens, not on a thousands, but in a, on, a, like a, on a large scale. And they demanded me to approve this, drugged up, literally video recording me, demanding from me to get married with uh, Serbs uh, and so on. And for declining that kind of stuff, they threw me, they brought me literally to Africa. Uh, to a jungle, uh, some village in the jungle, and demanded for me to marry. Yeah, okay, you don't want to marry uh, this uh, Serbian royals and this and that. Now go and marry 
over there, basically uh, in jungle and so on. And this, this is this is this is this this people. This this British. Uh, this is so fascist, so neo-Nazi, even today. Yeah, you're gonna learn in this documentary as you're gonna watch about the Leopold II. This is about a Belgian Congo. You know, Belgian Congo. Uh, you're gonna learn that he was no Belgian. This guy, this guy was as Belgian as Prince Charles, now King Charles is, or as Prince William, or as Prince Harry. That's how much Belgian, or as Prince Andrew, this guy was. This was a butcher, a German butcher, who was somehow king in Belgium, and who in fact was, he did carry the name, Windsor Gotha. London at the time was the center of the slavery trade. London, London at the time was a center of colonization. This was all the transaction, or the blood was running through. So the British are trying to, through extreme hypocrisy, portray uh, in this video I'm about to demonstrate you. Uh, uh, it, this is not exploitation. This is just a genocide in Congo, Belgian genocide in Congo. They're trying to portray one as something that did not have to necessarily be this way, uh, and in fact, it was through the British that uh, a Congolese people managed to break free, uh, you know, from, well, that's a good question, isn't it? Uh, but this is basically where we're going to start, you know? He declared that his aims in Africa were completely charitable and philanthropic. The Congo was about to receive all the benefits of... Leopold set about buying his new colony. He tried Sarawak, the new... So this is about uh, a video. You are, I'm going to put the link. Belgian Congo is the name of this documentary. Uh, I'm going to put it plain and short. Is the video about... Uh, myself, myself, literally through the eyes of this black man here that you see, uh, I liked him very much. This was like my brother, this guy. Uh, he liked me. He's a very beautiful little man, intellectual, that uh, I somehow even embraced. And it was really, really unpleasant. This stuff was really violent. A lot of violence was involved in it. Extremely a lot of violence was involved in it. Uh, but uh, he literally because of the hardship I endured uh, during, uh, during video recording this video uh, during uh, recording his uh, video he literally have seen Congo in me because the hardship that I endured from the British was so severe that uh, he saw Congo in me, literally. So for him to find the words about uh, what the way he expressed himself throughout this video, he really found inspiration in me. And I really, really had a pleasure to be next to him and I enjoy it. Uh, his company. He was really, really great. Uh, great. Uh, he's a great inspiration to me. Uh, is one thing also I have to tell you. These are things that before I concentrate on the stuff. Yes, this girl here that you see. For this. He looked at the sultans. You got to understand that the video was a total, total subject to royal scrutiny. Royals scrutinized the video before its release for about probably two years. Uh, maybe maybe even three years uh, they scrutinized, maybe even four years they scrutinized the journalists uh, involved. Uh, this is a professor, by the way. This girl is highly educated. Was in some, I don't know, university, whatever. They scrutinized the people involved in MK Ultra. Uh, this beautiful girl, apparently, that was even interested in me, I doubt it. 
Um, I just, I don't know. Uh, I I can hardly believe this stuff, but okay. Um, they scrutinized these people. Uh, they held these people literally for the throat. Um, job wise, uh, you know, intimidated. They intimidated them. And you're gonna see another here professor here. Um, he was involved in it. Let's see this. And yeah, you're talking about the British royals. The girl that you have seen, she actually got to meet royals in person. They wanted to know from her view how she will, uh, think about the Prince Andrew here, how she will, that Prince Andrew was always used by Prince Charles for like a side operations. So that anything that, that could possibly come become uh, a matter of yeah, a scandal or something like this, if the truth was to come out, it would be always blamed on him, and uh, Charles's image would always go completely immaculate without any uh, anything, uh, you know, without a stain on it. That's what Charles was. Charles was just a useful man like this, just just used for that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to find this guy with a with a national files, you know. I'm trying to find this guy with the national files. Is it, is it, um, hell man, I cannot see this guy anywhere. Um, there is another guy, um, Belgian guy, uh, who was in this, in this tragedy who provided these files, you know, uh, because this is supported uh, with files which are supposedly stored by in, in uh, by a Belgian state uh, where they had me in this national file. And uh, I got to be really careful here because I don't want them to censor me, you know, restrict me to, to the certain geographical areas and stuff like this, because that's what they do. And this guy told me that he was severely, severely intimidated. And look, I can't find him anywhere. Uh, I am going to post, uh, hopefully, the photo from him below. But they do have a national files in Belgium. And... Uh, You know, uh, maybe if I do something like this, maybe that's going to save the day and I'll be able to. Um, no. Uh -huh. There you go. Uh, I, maybe I'll get Van lucky. Vega it, had I want to demonstrate this people, folks, the because these are people that you don't and getting little encouragement in Belgium. And get the uh, videos like this. Of this is this Congo national file. underground by the Belgian Ministry uh, of Foreign Affairs. You can look, but you can't touch. Many of the documents mm. here are considered too sensitive to be released, even today. On pouvait même pas voir l'inventaire. Très souvent, elles emmenaient bon, des portfolios qui étaient mis en demi-vide. Et puis le. This le is soir, the guy. There you go. He was involved in it. And I want to alert you because these guys did. went extra mile for this video. They threatened them, they intimidated them. Uh, you get uh, 24 7 entourage. This guy is in Belgium. And uh, the same shit. Uh, the state follows you, they intimidate you. Uh, basically, what they do is they terrorize you to the degree that they play you down so much that maybe even the most important part of this video is missing. That's why I am here. Don't worry about it. And so I'll do the job for it. Uh, for this video, the Dutch king told me, Dutch king William, William told me, uh, do not even watch this video inside of your house. What he did was he demanded for me not to watch this video uh, 
inside of the house. So if you're going to watch one, you have to watch one so that that only you can hear and so on and stuff like this. Uh, the worst video, the worst video, and this is not even a dime of the truth when it comes to Saxe Taborg Gotha, Windsor's, uh, British royals that set their eyes on a Congo uh, as per now King Charles was became obsessed with the idea that he would in fact want this land for himself that it would be he that still would be interested that he will be the one who's going to get this all right let's go and let me demonstrate to you first to the people in Africa what exactly this brokers here in London intended to do okay so the first thing he declared that his aims in Africa we're gonna see if that's gonna be is it the signs of the wealth that Leopold amassed are everywhere in Brussels and on an enormous scale the king built the Saint-Contenaire Okay, this is this is a Brussels and so on. Yeah, but uh, you're in this video, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna hear exactly everything I have stated to you. Know that London was a transaction. This is where everything went through. Everything went through London, and in this case here, even in Berlin, which is kind of a crazy. That's a, that's in Germany. Uh, listen, folks, listen up like this. Uh, you people from Congo and people from Africa, but. Specific for you people in Congo. A King Leopold uh, Wind, uh, Windsor, basically, Coburg Gotha. He was, uh, he came from London, basically. This is this is a German London Berlin uh, cousin uh, from uh, Prince uh, Charles, uh, Prince William. A brother, their brother, the same blood, the same blood. Family, family. Uh, basically, what he did in Congo is just uh, of course this is an atrocity but the interesting is that when he arrived to congo is when he immediately started with a mass murder he started with the mass murder he didn't come to you know shake hands and uh, systematically or something like this but he was really aggressive about it uh, he came there and just started boom boom it started with a boom boom uh, and this boom boom uh, increased into chopping hands to the people for this video also i was told if i'm going to present one like this by uh, king charles that i'm going to lose hands and stuff like this so i have to do my best and it all continued to mutilation of the people ripping women intestines out and imprisoning women so that he could collect uh, what's known as a caoutchouc gummy rubber for the for the rubber purposes <sighs> he continued basically with ever increasing mass murder with the most more and more atrocious way more and more murderous approach you know he did not slow down he did not try it he did not attempt to correct or anything like this so he always kept people of congo that's what's interesting and that's nowhere mentioned in this video in trance he kept them in trance it's a trance this is what i had trance in 95 when it all started it was psychiatry it was all the Prince Charles, the British royals, so they all started with psychiatry. And the only thing they did was they loaded more and more and more and more crime on me. They wanted to destroy lymph nodes and all kinds of stuff they were doing on me. It was, it was really a human butchery is what it was. Finally, beginning in 2012, the only thing they wanted to do is they wanted to get me destroyed through the cardio issues completely. This is like the most crazy, insane murder sleep deprivation possible with uh, Joe Biden jokingly said that he had one, two, three, four, and I don't know how many like me, also increasing this kind of stuff.
The only thing they do is basically they get, you know, they get you systematically through the most murderous possible way for your throat, and they ever only increase the rate of crime against you, basically. Uh, into completely unbearable heights, and that's what uh, human is just just like a Congolese people. I also tolerated this until at one point I no longer tolerated this kind of stuff because I had really nothing to lose anymore. Uh, it really, uh, you know, it's just it's just uh, it's just a uh, British. That's how they do it. They just they just go and they just. Um, uh, you know, and uh, you know, basically what they do is they go to the plan too. You know, the Belgians never apologize to you or something like this. And you got to understand when I say Belgians, half of the Belgium is Dutch, that therefore German, and uh, half of the Belgium is French, you know. And when you read the coloniala, coloniala, colonialistic issues by the categories, uh, the Germans, Britons, uh, uh, Dutch were the most uh, oppressive, the most murderous of all the colonialistic powers. You know, right on the top of the scheme would be probably Germany. You know, the Germany and the Dutch. The Germany and the Dutch, this is basically where it was just, it's just a fucking onslaught to top, basically. Wherever they went, it was just. So. In this case, that's Belgian, because the King Leopold was a Dutch. This was a Dutch boy. This was a white boy from London, Windsor, Gotha, Berlin, German. You know? Um, on the second place, it's the British. It's pretty much is the same thing. These are the most oppressive ever possible. You can see in this video, no fucking schools, no nothing. Chop your hands, chop you, uh, lock your wife inside of the prison uh, if you don't bring enough of the caoutchouc and stuff like this. You know, that's uh, that was as the Congolese people refer to as a price for uh, civilization. Yeah, but the Congolese people in reality already had civilization. They had traded, they had their kingdom there, they had their things organized. Uh, but what what came there was just uh, a death, basically devastation. Kingdom, by the way, I do not approve. Really, I'm not fond to the kingdoms because kingdoms are a source of corruption. Of course, not everyone is the same. Not everywhere is the same. But when you say kingdom, kingdom is basically equaling to corruption. Um, that brings us to the next level. Once this German butchery in uh, Namibia, not in Namibia, uh, in Congo, Germans did tremendous atrocities in Namibia. You can learn about what that was about. Uh, maybe even worse than Congo. They tried to present Congo like this and that because, as I stated, Prince Charles, now King Charles, is very interested in colonization of the Congo. You know, he would like to recolonize Congo, but through the industrial colonization, different type of, through the, through the basically theft on a large scale by employing people and ripping off people like this. It is not possible anymore to go out there and just chop hands and do the stuff like this. Uh, what the ancestors of King Charles did, for as long as it was just fucking possible, they did that stuff. But once uh, the truth start to come out of the Congolese, you can see that again from Britain, from the Liverpool, you know, for what this black guy is actually grateful for, uh, it's the truth that riches United States of America and riches this and that, uh, fuck that, uh, you know, you can, you can exercise certain terror, you can do the certain things, you know, uh, but, you know, at one point, you can, to the, only to the certain degree, you know, and as, as, as Prince Charles, now King Charles refers, claims that he's referred to the Dracula. He is referred to the Dracula, but not to the operation in Myanmar, also known as Burma, which they have conducted under the name of Dracula. No, 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 no. He is referred to the real Dracula. Uh, 
British left India dry from blood. They dried blood India completely. There was nothing but 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 skin and bones from India. And they did the same like this with the mighty China. It was nothing through the opium trade once they got there, they fucking enslaved people, and the only thing was hashish opium basically people dementia ruled basically the ruler became dementia dementia and it was the same thing that was done through the indonesia and all over africa and south america and so on and so forth uh, but you know the thing about it is the thing about it is that The way the British do these things, the way the way the way they the way the way they the way they do in in the most murderous, in the most without any absolutely any conscience way, you know, suck the human dry completely, leave one totally fucking destroy, totally in my case, left me with a fucking exactly what I described. Uh, nations just left out there to die basically As the truth comes out the only thing that, that they did in this case was they promoted like how do you call this i mean what an insult to the to the congo people they it, it, was a, it was it was a it was a congolese colony and then it was promoted into congolese colony into belgium congo colony I mean, what the fuck, I mean, finally they started to teach them how to write and read. Uh, not for their sake, not in their language, not in uh, the way, you know, they might have even had already. Uh, but from all this dementia they created, this massacre, they try to somehow steer out in a positive way that the truth came out and now this King Leo Leopold, uh, this Windsor Coburg is now uh, through the same people whose part this man was. Uh, now portray him like um, you know, he died and that was the justice that nobody uh, it was a funeral old man or did he give a fuck about uh, close to 90 years old uh, that he cared about all the wealth that he got and, and uh, you know this, this documentary is extremely manipulated it's extremely manipulated there was no justice in it there's no justice for the Congolese people about what went on it was a Dracula, it was a blood sucking in the worst possible, humane level possible. That's what this was. Even though they are trying to portray one, I want to say to you, there was no justice, it was nothing. And they attempted to hide this genocide, because this is what was genocide, behind official. Uh, now, wow, bravo, now you become a fucking colony. Now you get the status of the Belgian colony, wow. Lucky you, right? So they could suck more. So they could suck more. So they could suck more, you know? And imagine the news. Americans uh, managed to suppress enough so that rather than releasing one in a American press and in other countries would be released, whether you like it or not, through the British, basically through the main resource, the main source of evil, in the same fucking form, in the same way as it was done in my case, basically, completely, completely identical. So they, they portray globally this Western white boy power uh, imperialists, they portray this like a case of, uh, you know, the abuser as a, as a, as a, as a solution. You know what I mean? It's, it's a fuck Listen, I'm gonna say to you, stop fucking around with this stuff in Africa to the African people. Kick them out, whatever the fuck you can. This is your continent. There are all your rules. This is your world. These are your rules. Your countries is what these are. 
I recognize the Western multiculturalism as a form of neo-Nazism, as a fascism, and nothing else. As for what I was faking from the United States of America on the trips to Asia, on the trips throughout the Africa, was nothing other to incite people into a hatred. Uh, that was one thing. And the second thing, so that those who caused all this evil could hide themselves behind something that actually had nothing to do with the evil. And in my case, the beatings, the torture started in 1995 uh, with a, such a level, with a, such a degree against me. I told you, one side of the family was loaded at a train station to be taken to the German concentration camp for extermination. That was by my father's side. On my mother's side, her brother lost his life in a battle with the Germans. Family had to eat grass. This is how it was here in Slovenia. Don't call me a white boy, man. Don't ever fucking call me a white boy. Uh, with a, such an intensity, uh, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a, such a degree, that I literally started to believe how a World War II did not end. And in fact, because of what I stated to you, my grandfather was a secretary of resistance. My grandfather was a secretary here during the World War II in this city, and he supplied partisan resistance movement with medications necessary for the people to stay alive, people who fought in the forest, the Germans, that I, that I started to believe that the World War II did not end. And why? Because I want somebody to retaliate me, because I was so angry that I was taken in Slovenia in front of, from house to house, from house to house, spit and called Nazi. Uh, everything, however, started at the in front of the memorials, dedicated, isolated, you know, isolated from the villages, memorials on the villages, some not even in the villages, where they started to push, uh, and the claim that I stated something against the national resistance, uh, and so on and so forth. Because I was pro-Slovenian, I wanted here uh, independent Slovenia from this Chetnian, Chetnik Serbian, greater Chetnik Serbian state. Exactly what you see today is taking place in, in between the Russia and Ukraine for the sake of uh, imperial appetites, what uh, Vladimir Putin, Putin wants. You know uh, that I wished, because of injustice that was done to me, I started to wish that what I, I, I lost my mind, started to literally wish that the belief World War II did not even end, and it will be somehow by God that the neo Nazi Germany will retaliate. Well, people, ad, people during these beatings, during this madness, advocated uh, partisan. In the name of the partisans, we are retaliating against you. How the fuck can you retaliate against me in the name of the partisans when, as I stated, what the fuck, how, what? You understand that? Uh, such, a, such a bizarre stuff done so that you know, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew could parade throughout Africa behind something they were just trying to exterminate eight years ago through Adolf Hitler because, you know, from this Belgian colonization and all this stuff, how the fuck are you going to apologize this kind of stuff? This guy was worse than Hitler. This guy, this Leopold II, this Windsor, this, this Saxe Caburg, this Berliner, this Amsterdam, this, this Brussels, where the Human Rights Court is braced now, where the European Court is braced. Now, that one is in Strasbourg, but in Brussels, you have this European uh, 
parliament and European ombudsman and all this shit. You know, if these people weren't so fucking evil and desperate to get back on a trail of That kind of madness that you're going to see in this video, this is a wonderful, wonderful documentary. I would say that they put this guy, talking about the Windsors, about the British, talking about the Adolf Hitler, that they, they placed him on, on a political stage so they could hide the total inhumanity they alone committed. Because what when it comes to the madness, crimes, the British committed, nobody Hitler did not match that in any fucking way, man. Nobody came anywhere near what British and Germans and Dutch committed. You know, this, this was this palace, this London, this imperial stuff, all the transactions that went right through there. Nobody, Hitler, Hitler was bad. Now Hitler, Hitler set the standard for the white boy, you know. That's a white boy, Scandinavian, German, a Dutch, British, it's a white boy standard. He, he set the standard, you know what I mean? Of what should be alive or what should stay alive, what should walk, what should breathe and what not in this world. If you understand me correctly. But before the Adolf Hitler were Sachse, Kaburg, Gotha, Windsors, previously you known Battenberg, then Mount Batten and so on. Dracula's. Those are those that come, they fucking suck you completely out, and then it's only skin and bone that's left behind. Use you for their purposes, and then that's about it. So that's how they used their documentaries, their people, and you know, I was not happy with this documentary because I said, why don't you, why don't you, I started to protest during the documentary, I said, this is not true, what you're saying, because you're trying to depict French, like, you know, the French did, you know, French, French, French. It was not only French. It, 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 it's just this, you know, categories of, of what I stated, total annihilation, total genocide, and then it's, you, you start to learn math, and, and then you start to, then maybe he's just going to come, he's going to give you investment and build you, uh, maybe a, a school, uh, 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 put a factory so that you can go there and you can do basically this all day long, you know, and earn your dollar every day or maybe even two. Wow, that would be a big thing. You understand me what I'm saying? This is just a never ending fuck up. Before it was French, it was Belgium, but now the next thing you're going to see, it's going to be Charlie. Charlie, Prince Charles, British. British going to give you quality of life. Don't, don't be stupid. Don't fall for that stuff. If you're Congolese, if you're African, if you're in South Africa, if you're in Ethiopia, Don't be stupid. If you're in Egypt, if you're in Libya, wherever the fuck you are, open yourself up for technology from Asia. Better, open yourself up for Asian reforms, such as China did, for instance. China demonstrated that through the discipline, everything is possible, even becoming number one country in the world. I don't know if that's what it is, but based on what I stated one time was Draculized, where it left nothing other than, you know, the greatest culture, one of the greatest cultures, not the greatest culture in the world. From where Marco Polo brought literally pasta and a money, paper money, was left at one point completely demented, demented with uh, opium. Became literally turned; it was turned into a smoke. 
did manage to prove today nobody can uh, play with uh, through the discipline through the work that's what you african have to embrace together with the japanese open yourself for japan japan is good asia is good thailand is good thailand is good thailand is very good for you open yourself up for a vietnam open yourself to asia to india these are white boys they might have a lighter skin but they're not white boys they were just like eastern europeans listed by adolf hitler by Saxe-Coburg Gotha for final extermination, known also the final solution. Mongoloids, and make sure you make children with them when they come. Open yourself for the business investments, open yourself for the work, for the schools, for the universities. Work with them to get yourself on the right track. But don't go from a Congolese colony to Belgian colony and from Belgian colony to Belgian Democratic Republic uh, to Congo Democratic Republic and uh, Republic of Congo and Congo and uh, the next uh, maybe British colony or something like this. Don't go into that stuff. Don't go into this bullshit. And try not to divide yourself. They are extremely, they take tremendous pride. I saw some videos where I was on uh, they took tremendous pride in dividing you. In division is a conquer. In unity is power. Work together with one another. You have no reason to fear Asians. What do you fear about the Asians? What is so terrible about the, about the, the Chinese and about the, the Japanese and so on? It's a good starter. It's a good way to go. It's the way, it's a discipline. It's to listen and to do whatever they say. And if they come and they give you a plan on how you should advance yourself, how you should build your railroads and roads and fix your, you know, I, I don't even know how you say that, storage, uh, and fix your streets and, and blocks and, and buildings and so on, do it. Do it together with them. Become part of them. Work with them together. It is as simple as this. It is as simple as say no and say yes to something that was already part of this bloody murderous white boy's past. It is just as simple as this. What I want to say to you about this video uh, is I, I'm shocked because there's another video. Yes, everybody in this video was involved, in, including the villages. But what I want to say to you about this video here, um, I'm doing, I like this. Um, I like this uh, Congo. Uh, so this is about the Belgian Congo, and now it's about the Congo, a journey to the heart of Africa that I'm going to do for you. Uh, you see this here? One of the world's great rivers. I must be very careful because they will, they will censor me, man. Uh, they can't, they don't like the videos like this. All this documentary, uh, journalists and so on, they were using me, portraying me like an ultimate evil. Uh, you know, and of course, uh, and portraying the French like ultimate evil and so on. Like this got something to do with the French. This was no French, my friends. This was, this was, this was a German, a Dutch style of genocide. That's what that was. I'm not going to go fucking invasion and colonization. This is just a genocide. On a, on, a, on a fast, on a large scale, suck, dry, blood, leave, 
body dry as much as you can and then start implement some kind of new lie portray the whole thing through the way you organized yourself if the human mind could not find solution uh, to the problem through the power and through um, inability to to face off with this terror due to technologically advanced uh, how white boys weapons Belgians brought with them to Africa listen uh, the crime against me in Africa started in 1995 by the British Royals where I was brought and I'm not definite whether it was this statue you see right there already built or not uh, I do have a memory that about only 1997 it was a British Royals that gave the cash uh, for this statue to either be rebuilt in uh, 96 or 97 therefore either uh, uh, either rebuilt or built I don't know what the case was uh, I know that gave the, some large sum of money for it uh, and Ever since uh, it took the spot, whenever I was brought there, um, this is a Morgan Stanley, <coughs> and uh, sometimes between 2008 and between 2008, uh, 2010, between 2008 and between 2010, this uh, this. Uh, this guy, uh, Morgan Stanley, the statue of him, uh, became painted, he got the pants painted. A series of steep cataracts make this stretch of the Congo impassable by boat. Into so Ukrainian flag. became a European center of trade. Guns and goods came in, ivory and slaves went out. Uh, literally, literally painted, literally painted with a yellow shirt, with a blue pants, uh, holding that steering wheel, whatever you want to say there, right there, uh, in hands, and yeah, you see that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and uh, poisoning locals, a weird idea that I'm a neo-Nazi, and uh, the man right there, the Morgan Stanley, that basically to remind everybody that this is Ukrainian, and it was all about the war on Ukraine. They presented me as Ukrainian. Listen, I'm, listen, fuck, I'm not Ukrainian. I got nothing to do with Ukraine, really. I was used as a slave for the British Royals, for the espionage purposes, for the Central Intelligence Agency purposes inside of the Ukraine, uh, for the purposes whichever Central Intelligence Agency Americans, which citizen I became in 2000, naturalized citizens have abused me for the merciless operations throughout Ukraine, uh, have negotiated that war together with a Russian partners meeting literally inside of this house, literally in our house here in Novomast. But I'm no Ukrainian, you understand? And they were portraying me in the worst lies, be uh, lies, yeah, in the worst lies beginning in 1995 and involved every British journalist. So for every British documentary, absolutely, the beginning 1995, about Africa, documentaries that are related to a, a house, like a media, large, like this is a BBC stuff, know that these journalists directly have tortured me and exposed me to torture and incited locals to see the reality is something in reality that had nothing to do with it. In this case here of this Morgan Stanley, the Britons wanted to demonstrate me uh, basically 
to the world, literally to the eyes of Thailand. You see, the Thailandese king and his daughter were involved since 1995. And uh, I was interested in a marriage with a daughter, uh, a granddaughter of King uh, Bambulai uh, and a king, now King Maha. Uh, I was interested in, in, in a marriage to, uh, to this girl here. Now, if it's going to work, we'll, we'll do it. By the Kitiapa. Um, very much interested in her. This is a daughter of a Thai king who appeared to me was very much interested in me. Yeah. Um, I started to think that he really, really, really was very, very much interested in me, even more so when I saw this picture right here. This is when I became even more certain that uh, she was very much, in fact, interested in helping me out. Uh, you see, his father became the element of negotiation uh, because of uh, I will not give any kind of uh, issues on that subject but anyhow that's his daughter as you see right there uh, as for Ukrainian I was the one who was told to see myself as a Ukrainian who's gonna get fucked by the Russians it's going to be the war, and they're going to kill you over there in Eastern Europe, and this and that, and so on. You know, Vladimir Putin is imperialist. This is imperialist, and uh, this is not a political video. I am not Ukrainian. Um, I did realize that countries that voted in favor of Ukraine versus Russian aggression voted in favor of UN General Assembly, that there are two kinds of Congos. One is Democratic Republic of Congo that voted against Russia in Russian aggression on March the 2nd of 2022. And there was another Congo that actually voted in favor, that actually abstained itself from Russian aggression. And that was a Congo. Yeah, that's a bad thing, um, in my opinion. Because I don't think that uh, Ukraine had anything to do with any of this stuff. Um, I sure enough did not. Uh, I sure did not have anything to do with it. But uh, if, you know, that's what I fear to the Congolese people. I'm going to say that the British made a, such a in, strong impression on you. As for you to see issues as such, then I really, really start to fear that you see yourself too much in hatred. That you have seen yourself, you, you did start to see yourself in hatred, I know that, because you started to divide yourself. Like Ethiopia, like uh, different countries in Africa became like independent and so on. And that's what I was used for. I have to warn you about, to steer the hatred, to steer the issues. That's what they were using. So I call you upon union. I call you to unite, not to break apart. Be careful with these things here. But anyhow, became involved in 1995, almost on, on day one. Really met me already. Um, parents of uh, King. Maha father. I, I I will not spell his name properly.
Boom and ball. Adulia day. 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 Became involved in 1995, and as much as I agreed to this marriage in 1995 and in 1996, uh, I don't know, and in 1997, it doesn't matter, the, uh, the girl that I demonstrated to you disappeared of the picture and she went to study. She went on to study, and the thing about it is that somehow the two of us, it was always something that didn't come together. In 2000 was the last time I, they, they told her in front of me, talking about the Germans and the British royals and so on, they steered the shit like two or three times, something like this. Two, two, uh, if... They gave her a condition because of a number of other females that were involved in it. Do you want to get married or you don't want to get married? And the answer for him was a no. It was the no. The answer was no. The answer was no, no, no. 2001, no. Uh, and guess what? All of a sudden, the tensions exploded throughout the Africa. All of a sudden, it was... Uh, she started to point me out on how I have problem with this one, how I have a problem in that country, that I already have a problem here, that I have a problem there. She was right. The girl was 100% correct. And uh, that's why I am now in this video. You see, in a Thai language, you know what they told me for this? When you're going to see this in documentary, they told me, that's you right there, the Ukrainian. Uh, your hands are tied to this thing here, to this uh, steering wheel, whatever you want to say that. And your hands are tied to the steering wheel, and there is nothing you can do. And uh, uh, equivalent in a Thai language, Equivalent to the, the cross in 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 in, in, in the Thailand, because um, I don't want to I don't want to go over this stuff again. But they give me the whole philosophy on all about how to see this is this whole thing as right. They gave me like totally 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 philosophy about how I should see these things as you know. Maybe uh, the Thai king, I didn't finish this, Bambule, uh, I'm not pronouncing this properly, uh, got to see me before the British royals even saw me on a cruise line, on a cruise ship. Because I was interested in some uh, girl from Filipino that looked like a Thailandese uh, uh, sister of King Maha, you know, she was so beautiful that I couldn't take my eyes of it. Uh, and um, and that's what got their attention because I like it so much. So um, well, they got her of picture of picture, and they started to pose in front of me with the girl from Philippines. What I'm trying to say is. Uh, British arrange all that shit. You understand? Uh, the Filipino girl that I liked was Asian. And it was the plan of the British royals to demonstrate me to the world like a neo-Nazi, right? So now you want to demonstrate one like a neo-Nazi, you need time. You need time to turn him into a hatred. You have to buy a time. So the Thailandese Family popped up on a picture with their daughters. In this case, actually granddaughters. In this case, even niece. By the Kitty Abba. Yeah? You understand? 
It's not through whom Thailandese king Maha wanted to purchase the sun, wanted to purchase the time for the British. That was not the case. Uh, but the British knew that the longer they spin the coin of violence against me, the more likely yes, I will turn for salvation to hatred. And then and that beautiful Thai girl, actually that beautiful Filipino girl, original girl that looked like a sister of King Maha, of Thailand today, King Maha, his sister, no longer would be that beautiful to me. And they did accomplish that stuff. It was how the British did, and it was how Thailandese no longer could save. It was how Thailandese could no longer do anything about it. This is another story about the Congo. My story is just from a single human being perspective that have gone through something similar, definitely psychologically related to the people of Congo. So, we were probably going to find one here, you know, we're going to, probably going to manage to find one here. See, this is a Buddha, this is a Buddhist monk, you see this here? It's a Buddhist monk, according to the Christian cross, you see that? You see that? Buddhism center, Dharma, religious studies, that kind of stuff. This is Thailand. This is what the Thai king told me. We don't have a cross. We have this here, right? And so now, you go back to this thing here. They demonstrated me. That's you. Fight with your hands to the cross right there. Uh, and you're going to die, and there is nothing you can do, and this and that, and so on and so forth. Yeah, so this is the way it was. But what, what's going on with this here? Well, this girl, Baira Kitiaba, this one here, learned about a trail of blood. She learned about a trail of blood. She learned about basically where I was taken and what went on. She was a young girl back then who just finished her studies. And she started to specialize herself about my case. And she didn't see me in any way special for obvious reasons. And uh, started to investigate my whereabouts in Africa and what impact as she claimed that had on her family, that uh, her love, relationship, and this and that, and uh, that this is a Buddha, and this these things don't go together, and so on and so forth. And uh, the West managed to, the West, the white boys, managed to complicate this more and more and more through the eyes, through the eyes of women, through the eyes of the female. And boy, I'm glad she got involved in it, I'm really, really glad she got involved in it. Uh, all through, it's exactly what I stated, through the eyes of women, did find herself on her... There's old monuments in the town. Did find herself on her... Uh, met me, that was interesting, met me on several occasions... In, here on this video, everybody you see is involved in it. Everybody in this video involved in it. I was, they used me for this documentary too. Uh, I was actually, uh, why would they do, why would they use me? You know, why, you're going to say, well, uh, you know, why Why would they be using this kind of stuff, right? Uh, this is not the correct video. So the first thing I'm going to explain to you, why why was I used for this kind of stuff? Well, if you want uh, some kind of a special project done somewhere, right? Uh, and there is projects that you, you, 
it could be years before you could get them done. You know, you're not gonna. There is some areas they don't welcome certain people. There are some areas that they just do it differently because regional tensions, because they might be whatever the situation might be. I was a ticket because. For the British royals to get something done in a certain country, let's say, that was hostile to them, and it would be otherwise impossible to get it done, uh, they would just, uh, you know, rather than go, let's say, through somewhere they cause, let's say, a, 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 a genocide or something like this, or they were part of something that they no longer would accept them or they were rejected or they, they were seen as an enemy or and they would have their documentary journalists and so on and so forth and, and, and this and that. Around the contact, even the countries around, you know, that's how you would typically go. Uh, contact the countries around and uh, through those countries around, uh, they would exercise pressure through the top state officials to see it the way they want to see it and, uh, you know, start to make some kind of documentary, this and that, and during which they would start to portray themselves as a righteous people using me on a picture. Uh, you know, uh, to get those clearances easier way faster way, more convenient, where you can go when you're doing certain stuff, they would just throw me in a boat, car, plane, whatever, and um, whatever you would go, whatever I would be taken, basically, internationally as such, with the full support of the United Nations that cast its, uh, its vote behind a crime like this, uh, behind this crime. Not like this, because you know, there is no this. Like like this, it doesn't exist. They would just use me. And it would be these local people that would, the only thing it would be, it would be a phone call, let's say. And, and the phone call would say yes to the person in front of a foreigner. And we would enter and go whatever the fuck you want with the protection and this and that. That's how it worked. That's why they had me on all the documentaries, all documentaries, about the Marco Polo, about the Africa, beginning 90... Listen, I was the one through whom British managed to visit Argentina again and so on. And, you know, they had war over there with Argentina and so on. You know, they brought me to the areas that were... Not that they brought me to the areas, but they managed to go to the areas where in no fucking hell they would want them to ever come anywhere near. That's why. The right video, I am sorry. Um, uh, yeah, but th this is the right video. I am just uh, in the wrong portion. This is toward the end of the video. Yeah, yeah. I remember now. These are the videos. Yes, I have to uh, see. I have to thoroughly study them. Uh, this is something yet I have to go. Sorry, I am in the wrong. Damn me. Uh, this one. And I'm going to give you probably more uh, feedback on it. Also, as I said, my health is not too good. Uh, this man here, you see this man, this chief village? Do you see this guy? This guy? Oh, 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 there. Look, this here, you see this here? Baringa, then and now, was at the end of the earth. The here, here, especially here in this picture, here in this picture, here in this school. Harris's set up a hospital that still hospital, struggles on. Hospital, hospital, sorry. You see this? Then, like now, the missionaries dealt with the impact of war, terror, and deprivation. Uh, Bairakitiaba, I don't like 
that part shall I keep here, but I don't like it. Baringa, then and now, was at the end of the earth. Um, this here is where she appeared with a local woman. She appeared in many, many destinations. This girl here that, uh, I don't say that she started to work for United Nations, but she, she did have submission to United Nations and uh, contributed uh, money through uh, his father, the king, to United Nations. However, what was misinterpreted to me is that she was buying United Nations, that she was paying the money so far, my case would not come true, and will do so, and will block me on every way, on every step of the way, till I'm going to drop dead, basically, literally like this. That's when I said this, my hands were tied to, uh, to that uh, steering wheel. No, the truth is that she traced this trails of blood, whatever they tortured me throughout the Africa, and have visited those dots, and met people, and contrary to this slave masters from Europe, these white boys, started to make contributions to the local society. She started to make contributions. She started to pay uh, directly also introduce business investments from Thailand, uh, help people with the jobs and stuff like this. That is the truth. She was trying to improve impression about me. Uh, whichever way she was in the picture, she was in the picture for better, not for worse. Uh, West, however, yes, yeah, sure. West used her. Uh, to the best of its potential, to the degree that even Buddha with a middle finger was created in her image. And so this is just a hypocrisy of the West. Facially, they imitated her, and it's also what was presented to me as an issue, as such an issue that and that's going to be to you, and it's going to be like, like this to you, and so on. So it's just like the most, the most malicious way, way, malicious ways possible to present her to me as. Um, what's the matter? This is Amazon, yeah, and I saw on Amazon, American, the white boy club. And that's how they uh, incited into a neo-Nazism, basically. This is how they incited into hatred. This is how it all went. They wanted me to hate, 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 hate everything that walk, everything that talk, everything that didn't look like from Germany, from Saxe, Kaburg, Gotha, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Copenhagen, Oslo, Bergen, Stockholm. That's what this was all about. They wanted me to hate, hate and hate, so they can hide the murderous past behind my face. That's how this was. That's all there was about this. Um... She appeared right here in this, and this, this was just one of the locations, but she appeared in many other locations. And uh, with the father Maha, they did some business down in Africa. Uh, it did them good because it was the society that accepted them due to simply them seeing themselves uh, in other people. In my case, became so notorious, unfortunately, so malicious that it caused to many non-whites uh, real problems, uh, ruining their image due to people uh, that 
Saxe Coburg Gotha Windsors, British Royals, Mount Buttons, Buttonbergers, whatever the fuck they use to hide themselves, whatever is more convenient for them. Romanovs, whatever is convenient for them. Along uh, to, you know, to create contrary to reality the image. Yeah, so my gesture to the people of Congo, of Congo uh, you know, hospital, the Baringa. My people to the people, uh, my advice to the people of Congo. Uh, yes, I was inside of that palace many times. This friend of mine was very, very correct. Um, my advice to you is to bring the agents in and start doing, start working, limit your poverty through rather concentrating yourself on quality of life and, uh, you know, cooperation with those whom have had, with whom you have truly genetically similar also uh, interesting is a fact that I like Congolese people because of their DNA, because the, the Congolese people, there was another thing, and that's nowhere on a documentary yet, uh, immigrated through here. Uh, it was uh, one family, uh, genetically they realized uh, it was something about the genetic they did, the research. Uh, Uh, I hope uh, Congo is going to unite with one another. Uh, you see this uh, Republic of the Congo and Democratic Republic of the Congo. I'm going to say to you something. Don't be stupid. Unite yourself together. Uh, I see Uganda there and so on. Uh, there was some research that was done that, that uh, people of Congo came from one family, basically. There was some kind of family that, uh, and it was toward, uh, even toward uh, somehow uh, genetically, somehow through the direction of Uganda or something like that, Uganda. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, Africa used to be all this uh, Europe, Eurasia, Africa, with Australia, with the Southern America and Northern America, you know this used to be one continent, I am sure you know that, you know, that this continent have broken apart itself, with, you, you're going to have a black people, known also as aborigines, still located in Australia, and also in Papua New Guinea, New Guinea, uh, I want to say to you, and uh, what is Indonesia, and this, this is a mixture between between the, you know, Chinese, Cambodia, Vietnam, Japan, all these Asian people and so on, uh, you are genetically connected. Australia, all this Madagascar and all this Africa, you are genetically connected. You are part of the greatest race in this world. A race which intermixed with, if you want to say this, White boys, us Eastern Europeans, not white boys, and have ha somehow mutated with Asians all the way down through Alaska, all the way down to 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 the to the last tip of the South America. Chile, Argentina, this is you, this is you in Africa, Asia and Africa, work with those whom they have enslaved, work with those who suffered the same fate you did, with this people is the one you have more in common than with anybody else, as for this stuff here, this is what I have uh, hopefully demonstrated to you, through my case, European Court for Human Rights, that's exactly what it is. Germany is the one that 
talks about the laws to other countries inside of the European Union. Law this, whatever they want to impose something in whatever country, they talk about the laws. You understand? It's all about the law. Law, 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 law. And look at my case. And then tell me what they know about the law. They see the law and they do the law, whichever way is convenient, whatever is convenient. And they have this tendency, this tendency of hiding their evil behind faces of other people they don't know anymore even where to find so they could find their evilness and depict themselves, portray themselves, even look in the eye people whom they have murdered on a large scale like the people of Africa, China, India because otherwise Frau Merkel otherwise Mr. Bush Mr. George Bush Otherwise, these people would not even have a face to come face to face with the people they exterminate on such a large scale and talk to them frank about their new whereabouts, their new plans, and so on they have for this world. So that's all I want to do. This is like a first video. Uh, as for my girl here, uh, by the Kitiaba, that this is this is a cross that that I am I am handcuffed to this cross and there is nothing I can do, uh, and it's over with me. Uh, well, I am praying for her every day, so for her father that would. You know, let her be. That's all there was. There was no, uh, there was no instigations which my neighbors here in Slovenia, they have also instigated right here in Slovenia, the neighbors, the neighbors came up with this kind of brainwash. This was a very, very, it was all kinds of, they had a, they had a shop, they have a, they have a, right here in vicinity, they had a, their, a, you know, it was all done, uh, the torture inside of my room, the stuff they did inside of the room, inside of this house. It was all done through, uh, through the neighbors. Uh, that's where Milan Kuchan would go frequently. Uh, that would be like a frequent stop from Milan Kuchan that would, that, would, that would go inside in there to the Berger family. And then it would be all done through the video surveillance and people he would administer, they would administer from that home, from their neighboring residence, throughout, uh, you know, engaging in madness inside of our house, so nobody could possibly video record or audio record them in here. That's how that was done. And unfortunately, silicon masks were used, and for her father, and for her, uh, Slovenian government feared Thailand, uh, Thailandese uh, family at large because Thai King supposedly, I'm going to believe you, sir, when you let your girl out. That's when I'm going to believe you. That's when I will believe you. But supposedly they were interested in me, that Thailandese King Maha liked me, uh, I hope it was more than the stuff that I have written about and a lot of stuff I have not written about. And uh, that's all I want to say in respect to this video. I don't have anything else to say. Uh, this video is the video about the Congo, about my brother here who saw me literally in suffering of Congo. And I sure did a little bit what he had not done. 
I sure did something that none of these journalists, these great people, these are great people who did these videos, these documentaries. They're great people. It's just what I told you in Britain, you get the police. It used to be that when you went to the Soviet Union, that you would get the police officers on your ass. Trust me. When you're in Britain, when you're doing some kind of documentaries and stuff like this, you get you get a professional MI5, MI6, Entourage, 24-7. It's not only you, it's your relatives. It's everybody that gets one. And the royal opinion matters in Britain. Before you're going to release something, you have to let know what you're going to release. They have their people who go over the material, they check to understand everything about material. They report that, consent that with the British royals. It's like a lawyer type of stuff they have. And then that stuff goes into motion. They basically play down people tremendously. Through watching this documentary, you could even get the impression that it was French who colonized Congo, something like this. They were not. The brutes that murdered, that slaughtered in what we don't even know how many numbers. I even disagree with official numbers because King Leopold, Windsor, Leopold, Windsor, Saxe, Caburg, Gotha, Windsor, Leopold II, King of Belgium, burned the documents. He went on to burn the numbers, the reports, everything, before he alone became smoke. And that's how they do it. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.